Now we're going to take a look at generating a peer, pairing code uh, with the Canvas mobile app. This pairing code is something that can be passed on to a parent. And what it would do is um, allow the parent to connect to the student's account and be an observer in their classes. So they could see which work is assigned and when, and also any information that was loaded into that class. Observers like parents don't see personal information. So things like a discussion board, they wouldn't necessarily see the responses from other students. Uh, mostly what they would see is the information about assignments assigned to the student they are paired with. Let's click the three lines in the top left and go into settings and then click on pair with observer. And that's it. So now there's a pairing code right there and that pairing code would then be given to the parent and the parent would type that in. Uh, so I'm going to have this student go ahead and write down this code or screenshot their screen so that they can share that with their parent. Excellent. And then the parent will add the, uh, create an account with Canvas, add the mobile app uh, in the process, and they're going to use this pairing code to get connected with the student. All right, uh, we are going to take a look at the Canvas Parent app and how to quickly pair yourself with a student. This had to first, what we did in the first step, it had to be where the student created the pairing code. And then now with uh, the Parent app, we can find the school that we're going to go to and uh, then type in, as we create our account, we'll be typing in the pairing code. The school that you're going to be looking for is in Paris, there you go. And you already found it at the top of the options there was the parent one. Uh, you, If this is your first time, you're going to need to click on create account. This goes pretty quickly. It only looks for your name, email, and then you create a password to go with it. And if you notice at the bottom of that list is going to be the pairing code. And there we go. It's seriously that quick. And then once you're in, you see all the courses that the student is enrolled in. Uh, you can scroll through and find any specific course, course. Let's scroll down a little bit and search for peer tutoring. Go ahead and click on peer tutoring. You can see the percent score for the grade in that class, uh, as well as the items that were submitted and what the score that was received. One thing that we want to advise parents on in terms of these scores in Canvas is that many teachers use uh, Canvas as their platform to process work and mark scores, but the official score with the weighted categories, the one is the, that is the most accurate, is actually in the uh, Infinite Campus portal. Uh, so that is the official grade. The reason I say that is sometimes uh, they just have weighted the grades where uh, projects or tests or essays or other large value items might be worth a heavier weight than things like uh, daily work. That being said, uh, go ahead and click back to go to all the classes. And you'll notice that it also has um, calendar and alerts down at the bottom. So that's one easy way to kind of view which things are coming up uh, in terms of due dates. Go ahead and click on calendar. And you'll see here that we have a couple of things that are coming up uh, that are due today, in fact. So those are that's an easy way to keep track of work and where they're coming. If you look ahead in the week and you see on Thursday there's a single dot and on Friday there are three dots, that tells you how many things are due, or it's actually more than three dots, how many things are due on each of those days. Or how many events are taking place would be a more appropriate way to describe it because that top event where it says end of the six week grading period is just an event 
and it's not an actual assignment to complete. That should do it for just getting into the Canvas Parent mobile app. And um, that's where we'll end this video. If you wanted to add additional students, you could click in the menu in the top left where there's three horizontal lines. And then select Manage Students. And then there's a plus sign in the top right. This would be a different pairing code than the one that you had already entered for your first student. And that's if you have more than one student that you wanted to uh, be paired with. Um, that's where we'll end this video.